Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the camera tool to take a picture of a bar chart or a graph and then as well as a, a table of data and then make that be displayed dynamically. So essentially if something changes on it uh, on the data set or the chart, it will also update on an image of uh, that specific area. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to add the camera tool to your quick access toolbar and to do that you're going to select this down arrow you're going to head down to more commands you're going to select under the quick access toolbar section you're going to select all commands and then you're going to be able to scroll down all the way to camera and from there what you're going to do is you're quickly going to add that to the quick access toolbar by just selecting it, hitting add, and then hitting OK. Once that's added, as I have it added here, we can now select, I'm going to insert a little bit of a row here just to clean this up so that when I take a picture I'm not including this left hand uh, line on the, the sales data. So I'm going to select from column E all the way over to column Q and probably right down to row 23 here and then I'm going to select the camera tool it's going to take a picture of that area I'm going to then head over to the camera feature tab that I've created here and I'm going to paste that by just right uh, actually left clicking and that's going to automatically copy that image over there so by default it's actually showing and creating a border for me if I wanted to I can go ahead and remove that border by just taking off the picture border we'll say no outline and you'll see that that is now removed. So now the beauty is is that with an image like this you can actually resize it and you can make it to whatever size you want. The cool thing is is if we pop back over to our picture graph section and if I were to update my data let's just say back down to 800,000 on this first one and then let's just say we move this one up to 2 million just like that. So now that data is obviously updated in the real-time chart that we have but if we also go to the picture that we've taken and used of that section or of that chart you'll see that this is also updated so you'll see that that is now 2.5 million for the month of May and it matches. Another cool thing that you can do with this is if you want to add a background and insert a shape of some sort we could do that by just doing this highlighting creating the shape let's just say we're gonna take out the shape outline and actually we'll leave the shape outline as green and I will take out the shape fill and now we have a little bit of an outline here now if I select the chart or the image of the chart I should say and I select the background and I right click and then I group those two you'll see now that I have those perfectly grouped so if I were to sh change the size of this it automatically updates so you'll see that that is again just an image of that we can do the same thing if we want to copy a data set in this case I'll just hit the camera tool here I can add go back over to the camera feature and left click you'll see that it's automatically created uh, an image of that data set and we can make it smaller bigger whatever we want to do here so we can do this and again the beauty is with this is we could have multiple charts multiple graphs and we can resize these but these will always update with the data and information that is within the range of the section that you took a picture of using the camera so if we go back again and I updated something on here I'll show that this also will update the data set information that I just copied over and you'll see now that on the March we have 800k in sales. So again this is a pretty cool feature that Excel has. I love using it for building nice dynamic dashboards. Uh, something that you can do so as things change it actually updates but it's also easy to control and resize all of the images. Anyway thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions feel free to leave comments down below. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.